Howdy folks. So I managed to get this uh, out of an old scrap computer and uh, this is just an AMD uh, CPU cooler fan for some uh, socket AM3 processor and I'm not even going to begin to question how this happened. This was like in place on a CPU cooler in a machine uh, that had been thrown out for some reason um, and it turns out that uh, the rest of the system I got working, there was a couple things that didn't work, like digital video and stuff, but um, otherwise I, I scored a, a pretty nice uh, quad-core AMD system, but I just, I honestly don't know how the system was running like this, let alone how this happens. I mean, that's got to be some serious force on that. So my guess is that this probably was, uh, probably had like a connector or something um, get jammed in here when this thing was probably f spinning some sort of mad speed and shredded the fan. Anyway, uh, it still spins. It's in uh, Asia Vital Components um, fan, 12 volts, 0.7 amps. It seems to be pretty solid in here, so uh, I think we'll do the sort of what we normally do. Just got my uh, bench supply here uh, with a current limit of uh, pretty much 10 amps, so uh, we're probably not going to get there. And the good old paper clips to connect it up, so uh, we'll hook it up and see what it can take. So it tries to start right around four and a half volts. And I can tell you that's vibrating quite a bit. Like that's, that is really not balanced. Now I'm, a f I, I, I'm kind of afraid that this is gonna blow off and send shrapnel into me, but uh, I think I'll be okay. So I'll just hold it by this, I guess. Creep up the voltage. So it's beginning to levitate a bit, which is good. Produces the noise. It's pretty much fully levitating now. Okay, now it's starting to start, starting to die at around 20 volts. It's 22. It's probably dissipating pretty decent amount of power at this point. Yeah, we're drawing about 200 milliamps or so. So those coils are probably heating up pretty badly. I wonder what happens if I drop this voltage back. Actually, that's quite, that's quite surprising. So if I drop the voltage, it seems to work again. Let's take it all the way up to uh, 36 volts. Completely stops at 36 volts. It's not, it's not hot. Does it restart? Damn, I've got to say that's, it's warm, but it's not incredibly hot. Damn, that's a, that's a really durable fan. Now, I, I mean, I've trusted AVC in my servers for a long time, and I know make, they make pretty good fans, but damn. I'm going to go to the most significant figure here. But yeah, 36 volts, it stops. But once you drop the voltage back, it just, it, this is almost unkillable. It's kind of got that, that it sort of increases linearly in speed until you get to about 20 volts. And then it starts to draw kind of ridiculous current. So obviously whatever speed controller this has is just unstable maybe beyond that point. But it's not drawing excessive current, so... I mean, I feel almost like I could leave it like this. I'm not going to, but yeah. Well, unfortunately, I guess I, I can't kill this, so uh, yeah. 
Whatever this is, that's a damn good fan. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll see if I can rip some more blades off, and then maybe maybe we'll kill it some other way. But anyway, in the meantime, hopefully, uh, well, this wasn't as interesting as I'd uh, hoped it would be. But anyway, thanks for watching.